When it comes to Teltonica Network's products, our remote management system, better known as RMS, has garnered continuous interest for its extensive functions and features. Today, let us walk you through the intricacies of RMS by delving into the services it offers and exploring the range of functions each one provides. RMS is a user-friendly IoT cloud platform that anyone can utilize, whether you have a background in IT or not. It was developed by Teltonica Networks and is currently hosted on Amazon Web Services. RMS was originally created as an intermediate system, enabling our clients to manage our devices remotely. From there, it continued to evolve significantly over the years. Today, we describe RMS as a game-changing web-based platform that grants you full remote management and control capabilities for supported Tiltonica networks and third-party devices. Notably, RMS offers high customization options and prioritizes top-notch security at every step of the way. With security being one of our primary areas of focus across all products, RMS is equipped with multiple security measures and undergoes continuous checkups to safeguard your entire fleet of connections, ensuring it remains solely in your hands. So before we start our overview of RMS services, let's have a quick look at the key components that make RMS secure. We routinely generate new certificates between RMS and our clients' devices and have a proactive team who continuously tracks and looks for ways to improve the security of RMS. We've integrated two-factor authentication with biometrics, offering an additional layer of protection for your account. There's also a single sign-on authentication method, allowing you to log into RMS using your organization's credentials. And lastly, each time you want to assign a new device to RMS, you must enter three inputs. The device's serial number, the LAN MAC address if it's a router, or the IMEI address if it's a gateway, and the device's current password. Since you now know how to add a device to your RMS account, we can now check out what this platform includes. Whether you're looking for extensive device and account control, access to third-party devices, or data and log tracking, RMS will help you with all of that. Currently, RMS includes the management, Connect, VPN, Administration, and API services, which are sets of features and functions covering different aspects of your solution's needs and requirements. So without further ado, allow me to introduce you to the Management Service. The RMS Management Service is all about enabling you to remotely control, monitor, and configure supported Teltonica Networks devices. To make RMS user-friendly, we have split the RMS Management Service into five sections. Devices, Wi-Fi and hotspots, task manager, reports, and alerts and automations. So right when you log into your RMS account, you're first greeted with the devices section. Here you can see the parameters of your fleet of devices, such as names, tags, and much more. So let's discuss it step by step. By selecting any number of devices, a new submenu will appear with device control tools. The first one is called, surprise, surprise, device. This tool allows you to fully manage the device's RMS service or remove selected devices from your RMS account. The Management Control tool gives you the option to set which and how often device parameters or data will be collected. Additionally, here is where you can estimate how much the collecting of any given parameter information on RMS will consume. RMS provides you with tags, which you can use to group devices by establishing logical relationships, for example, to group all Ethernet routers. These tags can be managed through this tool as well. Each device can have multiple tags, which helps to group devices into several logical relationships based on their function, features, or location. It's really up to you. Another great function this management control tool has involves passwords. Updating your device's passwords is a crucial aspect of your IoT's solution security and must be done regularly. It's all fun and games until hundreds of your devices require you to manually update their passwords one by one. Knowing how time-consuming and bothersome this task can be, we've created a password manager function. It lets you automatically update passwords for hundreds of devices by generating random passwords with just a few clicks. Note that after each password update, you can find a downloadable file available only to you and containing all the passwords you've just set. RMS won't be storing these passwords anywhere. Also, the management control tool allows you to execute custom tasks, to which we'll come back a bit later. Using the Actions Control tool, you can perform device firmware updates, upload backups, and activate periodic backing up for emergency cases. This tool lets you run device performance analysis and reboot it. Looking at it the first time, the configuration tool might seem pretty self-explanatory, as you do in fact use it to perform configuration. However, this tool is like a treasure trove of convenience. Here you can multi-configure your fleet of devices. 
As long as you make sure that your devices run on the same firmware version, it doesn't matter whether it's fleets of gateways, routers, or both, all devices can be configured to have the exact same rules and settings. You can configure multiple devices at the same time or migrate their configurations from one device to another. Migration is particularly useful for setting up new devices with your RMS account that require the same configuration as an already fully configured device. This is easy to achieve because each saved configuration template belongs to the firmware rather than to a specific device. Also, you can adapt or adjust such templates based on specific installations without making long-term changes to them. With the Alerts and Automations control tool, you can assign and control what specific alerts and automations will be applied to a specific device. This is a very exciting tool that provides you with limitless customization possibilities, which we'll review a bit later. At the end of the submenu, you can see a few more tools presented as icons that you should certainly not miss out on. The first is Page Settings. This tool lets you personalize the display of this page's dashboard and the widgets at the top. You have the flexibility to add, swap, or remove parameters to tailor this page's looks to your specific needs or preferences. After the Page Settings tool comes the Device Map button. Pressing it lets you see the physical location of all your devices. It shows all devices with SIM cards on the map or displays a manually set location for products without SIM cards or GPS capability. The Download button is a tool that downloads the current data table and all information displayed in that table. And lastly, but certainly not least, is the Refresh tool, which, you guessed it, refreshes the displayed data. Regarding individual device management, there are four buttons displayed in the Actions column for this exact purpose. Clicking the Information button directs you to a new dashboard exclusively for that specific device. Here you will find all the information we discussed earlier and even more detailed data about the device. With the second and third buttons, you'll get direct access to the device's web UI and CLI directly from RMS. And the fourth button grants you access to configuring this specific device. The Wi-Fi and Hotspot section is all about your wireless connections. The Wi-Fi submenu is where you can see what's going on with your Wi-Fi, meaning you can attain more granular information like data or Wi-Fi consumption, whether SSID is active or not, connected clients, and details about them. You can also access the selected device's web UI and update its settings. The following submenu presents all hotspot-related information. Here you can see the user list and their activity status, as well as create new users or disable their access to your selected hotspot. Remember the custom tasks that we've mentioned before? The Task Manager section is where you can both create and manage them. Tasks are predefined functions enabling a device to perform specific actions. Since our device operating system, RootOS, is based on OpenWRT, it gives you unlimited access to the OpenWRT package repository, allowing the integration of any desired application into our devices. Here is where RMS plays a crucial role. It adapts to your IoT solutions routine, offering convenience by allowing you to apply a task to all selected devices simultaneously rather than individually, but it gets even better. Task Manager is not limited to OpenWRT package repository commands. It can also work with custom-made applications. Simply insert your own scripts stored in the cloud and apply them to multiple devices at once, all remotely. The section following Task Manager is Reports. This is where you can generate either single or periodic reports and store them in the same place if needed. These reports contain information about user-requested device parameters for a designated range of time. Lastly, we reach the Alerts and Automation section, which allows you to create custom alerts and automated actions for single or fleets of devices. In RMS, this functionality is based on the If This, Then That logic, allowing you to use any selected parameter as a trigger for an alert. Additionally, this system supports the creation of IF subgroups, often referred to as IF nesting. This feature allows you to establish a hierarchy or sequence in which actions are carried out, enhancing the capabilities of RMS from just triggering alerts to implementing complex predefined sets of rules. Alerts and automations give you a blank drawing board without any limits or borders for you to adapt RMS to your automated solution monitoring needs. The RMS Connect service extends beyond Teltonica Network's devices, enabling direct access to a broad range of devices, even to third-party ones. With its web integration tools, RMS Connect offers secure remote access to third-party device interfaces through encrypted transport tunnels. This eliminates the need for public IP addresses, VPNs, or extra software installations. 
so any PLCs, CCTV cameras or any other connected device can be easily accessed, as long as any of the end devices supports the same protocols as RMS Connect. On top of that, RMS Connect guarantees top-notch security for these connections. You're not exposed to the public internet and, as the RMS account owner, can monitor who initiates connection to end devices, and if necessary, control their access. The main aim of RMS Connect is to simplify connecting to end devices. Oh, and a really nifty bonus point of RMS Connect is its access history. This global account log lets you view all connections initiated to your third-party devices worldwide. The RMS VPN service is ideal when you require capabilities beyond what RMS Connect offers, especially in terms of accessing end devices with unique software or protocol requirements. And while it's essentially just like a regular VPN that you might even be hosting yourself, RMS VPN excels in how easily it allows you to establish them. There is no need for specific know-how, and no servers, and no public IP. You choose what you want, and RMS does the rest for you. RMS is available in two flavors, the mild and the spicy. If you enjoy configuring devices on your own and desire more control over them, the VPN hubs are the right choice for you. That's the spicy one. But if you prefer to avoid such tasks, RMS VPN Quick Connect is your go-to option. That's the mild one. The VPN hub is designed so the user has full control over VPN configuration. You can control clients, endpoints, IP addresses, and other aspects of the VPN. In fact, RMS VPN allows any third-party connectivity devices to connect to your VPN hub as long as they support the OpenVPN protocol. RMS VPN functionality is not just for use with Teltonica Networks products. The VPN hub is for your entire networking solution. VPN Quick Connect was designed for solutions with Teltonica Networks devices exclusively. This service is designed with a logic that goes along the lines of configure and forget. Here you can configure one instance at a time with as many endpoints as you want. Only this created instance cannot be edited. If you want to make any changes to it, you have to create it again. One of the key benefits of VPN Quick Connect is that the server of your newly created instance has limited uptime, which you can adjust and configure. The best part of this is that RMS VPN features its own VPN client app to simplify your solutions management. Both VPN Hub and VPN Quick Connect are fully integrated into this app, which is available on Windows, Android, iOS, iPadOS, macOS, and other Apple products. This app was created for your convenience, as interfaces for the VPN Hubs and Quick Connect are configured automatically and require no manual input. The app frees you from grappling with VPN configuration files and allows supporting the entire solution remotely, all while maintaining the administrator's supremacy to control and oversee your end user's access permissions. This means that you can see the full list of RMS VPN servers, add or disable servers, and set their uptime right from this app. While all these services and functions sound really great, it gets even better. Since RMS is a multi-tenant system, multiple users and accounts can use the platform and work at the same time with assigned resources. The administration service allows you to manage your fleets of devices, their users, tags, roles, permission, RMS service, and associated files with RMS from start to finish. RMS administration can show your solutions multi-level structures, with each allowing to access different resources. Such hierarchy enables administrators, or higher-tier RMS users, to have greater control over their own devices as well as those of non-administrative users, while lower-level users have correspondingly reduced control. There is one more important thing to mention. The vast majority of functions and features we showed you today can be controlled through your in-house IoT platform thanks to RMS API. We offer a dedicated RMS API website for developers, where you can find comprehensive API-related documentation. This includes information on authentication, interactions, and endpoints. Full API documentation can be found in this video description. Oh, and if you're interested to see what updates we keep bringing to RMS, every bit of it can be found in the change log located next to your account information. Now what are you waiting for? Register to test out RMS if you haven't already without any commitment. If you have tried it and want to use it further, check out this video where we discuss RMS licensing and feel free to contact us. And subscribe to our channel, we're sure you'll find something of your liking there.